So Enzo is growing rapidly. Anyone with kids knows the feeling. He's getting older by the second, as we all are, I guess. Um, but yeah, got the water tank stood up here. We're on the side of the big shed, and then the other shed is there. So yeah, we got this area done as well. This um, material is it's asphalt profilings. There's a technical name for it, but I don't know the technical name. I know, how crazy is that? Xavier's grown an orange on his tree. That's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Just comes out of a stick. Um, I don't know the proper term for it, but yeah, basically it's asphalt profilings and the process for it is basically, this is a lot cheaper than doing a hot mix. Hot mix is like over 100k for this size area and yeah this is the profilings as you've seen in the time lapse if you've seen that video they prepped the surface first made it really flat and strengthened it with the recycled concrete chunks chuck that in like big blocks chucked all that in flattened it down ran it over a hundred million times and then they started dropping off this material and the the truck that came and dropped it off was unbelievable like a massive truck and dog they call it and the dude was able to turn around in here it was pretty impressive and um, yeah they dumped all the material spread it out compact it down and then they add like a, a gluing agent to it it goes it like binds it a binding agent binds it together and if you look here you can see some areas are like pretty hard and then some areas are a lot more loose so what's going to happen is the whole top layer probably like 50 mil is going to go all loose over time and when i say over time i mean over the next 12 months we're going to be driving on it as much as we can just every day drive down here do a couple laps and that's going to naturally compact it from driving over it all the time and then driving over it driving over it for 12 whole months which will compact it down really really tight and the bottom layer will go hard underneath the top layer is going to be like gravel like i said they're going to come back, scratch the top layer off, and then they are do a bunch more shit. And basically, the end result is like a road, like your asphalt road, for like like a third of the, probably even less than a third of the price of hot mix. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, we've had the backyard for one week now, and it's still, it's still just amazing. Like, it's so cool. Um, yeah. So the plan is to hopefully end up with um, an actual drift track in the backyard. But for now, there's not going to be one. And I need the neighbor over there to move out because she's, she's a loose unit. Um, and then me and Enzo, we planted, or and Elijah and Brad gave us a hand as well. But we planted um, like a hedge in here. So we got a hedge going around here. And then at the back... There's avocado plants in the back there. So, yeah, that's really cool. And we've just come down to water them now. And, uh, yeah, pretty much what's going on in the backyard. It's bloody epic, mate. We've been driving down between these cones here, slowly compacting, like, section at a time. So I'll move these cones to the left a bit more soon, and we'll drive on this bit. But the next, um project what I want to do is in this section here all the way up there I want to build a carport so you reverse in this way and then we can store all the um, all the rolling shells basically there sort of like what's going on here but over here reversed in and then that way that land there can't be used for pretty much anything except for that whereas this land here this space can be used like to turn around or I might even put a second carport there I don't know yet and then the trailers are going to end up there don't know what's happened with the forklift uh, but yeah we've got some space also the um, septic tank is there and all our stuffed tyres are going in the tyre wall so that's pretty cool I've got to do the gutters on the shed run them into the water tank and then the shed will actually be finished then in a long time coming but yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff to do. Let's um 
We're gonna water the plant. 